Hi everybody and welcome to Dye Time. I'm Amy from From the Cauldron and this is a mouldy dye stock of walnuts dye. But that is, it's not ruined at all. Uh, all I'm going to do now is just scoop off this mould. From everything I've read and everything, everything everyone's told me, this mould won't actually uh, affect the dye at all in a negative way and some dyers think that it actually gives a nice rich it really helps to bring out the color in the dye so I'm happy I'm gonna go stick this in the compost heap once I've got all the all the mold off so it's not smelling rancid so this dye is still good to use it has been in the freezer since summer 2020 uh, but I needed space in the freezer so I had to take it out. Now that I've skimmed off as much of that mould as I can I'm going to very carefully pour this in here in my dedicated dye saucepan. All the equipment I used was dedicated for dyeing. Uh, there are a lot of husks in here uh, that bucket is full of husks, which is why I put this in here to try and get get those husks. Catch those husks. So that is just dye, dye stock, and I'm going to boil this for probably a good hour at least to try and kill off the bacteria, the mold, the mold spores in there, and then I'll be able to dye with it. This has been boiling for about an hour now, so I'm going to turn the temperature down. And I'm going to start my experiment. I'm adding in here 10 grams of pre-soaked. This is Aran, Superwash Aran yarn. No, it's not that at all. Hang on, I need to start my timer. There we go. Because so what I'm going to do is uh, I've got 10 skein, mini skeins, 10 10 gram skeins here soaking and I'm going to put in another skein every, after every 10 minutes. This is Blue-Faced blue Leicester yarn, superwashed BFL yarn in Aran weight. That's what I was trying to say. So that's the first one gone in. It's now down to a simmer. I'll be adding the next, the, well, the next nine in uh, 10 minute increments. Each yarn skein has little tags like this. So that one had one, because that's went in first. This one's got two, it's gonna go in next. And I need to sort through the rest of these so I can put everything in in the right order. Okay, that's been 10 minutes for the first one. So in goes the second one for another 10 minutes. Uh, I had planned on doing this bit tomorrow, but this really stinks. <laughs> and I know once the kids get home from school, they're gonna complain about how much the house stinks. Even though I've got all the windows and doors open, I thought, okay, I'll just try and get it all done today, then they don't have to moan at me. <laughs> but if you have the ability to do this outside, I recommend it, because it doesn't smell great. It's not toxic, but it just doesn't smell very nice. And here is the last one. Now I'm gonna leave this for 10 minutes and then take everything out so that this last one will have been in for 10 minutes as well. It's now been an extra 10 minutes since I put that last skein in. So let's take all of these out. Uh, straight off, I can see some of these are a little bit, some are darker. Oh, my light is just about to go. <laughs> I'll try and let this drip as much as possible. I'm really hoping that this will make a nice sort of fade set. I stick these in my other dedicated dye pot. Let's have a look, see if, yeah, that feels like that's it. Now, when I started this, you can see that was where the dye was that was sort of the, the line so a lot of this has 
um, evaporated, which is what I wanted. <laughs> I had so much, I wasn't, I wouldn't have been able to store all of it, all of it. So this has reduced quite a lot now. And so hopefully this will be a really nice, rich dye, which uh, I will be storing to use again another time. But for now, I'm just going to let this, uh, all this yarn cool, and then we'll be back to wash it. This yarn has completely cooled down now. So it's time to wash it. Now, I have noticed there are little bits coming out. You can see there's little bits on the bottom of the sink. This is just um, some bits of the walnuts that got that stayed in the dye bath. So I'm going to have to be very aware of that while I'm washing. I'm just going to run this under some cold water for start. Yeah. That, there is water coming, there, there is walnut dye coming out of this. That's to be expected because natural dyes, they won't exhaust in the same way that acid dyes do. So I'm just, they're, they're more, they're a bit like the fiber reactive dyes and plant-based fibers. They're, they're, there is dye here to wash out. Hopefully it won't take too long. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add a little bit of washing up liquid. Hopefully it will help to shift um, those bits um, of walnut that are still in here. Give it a good wash because it does still smell a bit of walnut dye. It's not the most pleasant of smells. <laughs> There's still quite a lot of dye coming out of this. I'm not worried because what, I've, what I'm noticing now is that the more I'm washing it, the more I can see variations in, in the colors of the skeins, which is fantastic. I was, I was worried that you know, there wouldn't be much difference between certainly the ones that have been in there longest, but hopefully there will be. And this is getting clearer, so I'm just going to keep washing this. I might do what I do with um, cotton and let it soak in some soapy water and then just change the water every now and then. Yeah, it's getting lighter, that, that water, so hopefully it won't take me too much longer. Yeah, I'm just going to let this soak. And I'm noticing not as much vegetable matter is coming out of it now. So hopefully that's all come out. And not just sticking to the yarn because it's wet. We'll find out when it dries, I suppose. Yeah, that water is a lot lighter than it was. Fantastic. So I'm just going to leave this now. I'm going to let it soak in this water. And I'm just going to change the water every now and then, like I do with cotton, and until the water is completely clear. And here is the finished yarn. I'm really chuffed with this fade set that I managed to create. I was quite dubious going in to this project as to whether the yarn would be very different. But if we look over here, this was an hour and 50 minutes in, in total. And this one over here was um, 10 minutes in total. Just look at the difference between those two. That's incredible. Now, when washing this, I didn't manage to get the water completely clear. I did what I do with cotton and fiber reactive dyes, which was just to let it soak in water for a few hours and then change the water. I did this for probably about three days in total, and there still was sort of a hint of yellow in the water at the end of those three days. So just be aware if you're using this yarn that there could be some color come out of this. It didn't affect the color of the, the yarn at all. As you can see, three days of soaking has not changed this color at all. I would just be aware, particularly if you knitted this with white, there may be, and then have to wash it, there may be a little bit of color transfer. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Would you like me to do more experiments like this in the future? 
please leave a comment down below let me know what you thought and while you're at it please click subscribe so you'll never miss a new video of mine I publish ev videos every Monday, usually around about 6 p.m. UK time. So if you're subscribed and got the notifications turned on, you will never miss a new video. Thank you so much for watching.